everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and welcome to today's video. I put on a little bit of lip product, and I just ran my eyebrow pencil brush with whatever product was left in the brush over my eyebrows, and I'm kind of inspired now to do a little bit of makeup, and so I thought I'd just do a quick makeup look, and so I'm just gonna, I'm trying to use up this little sample of BB cream from Marcel, and it's too dark for me, so I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of foundation and so you see there it's kind of a, like a tan color and but I want to use it because I like the um, formula so I'm going to mix it with this LYS foundation serum I'll put a pump of that together with it and I'm just going to go in with this beauty sponge that I just received and we're just going to mix that together and it's going to create like a peach kind of a color which is going to go you know really good with my skin so anyway I just thought I'd cover up the circles and and just do a quick you know quick little makeup look I just want to even out the skin tone and maybe you know put on a couple of products to kind of just perk up because I've done skincare today, but I haven't done any makeup. My circles look really bad today, and I've got plenty of rest last night. <clears throat> it's just that time of year, you know, where there's the weather's changing, and there's like stuff in the air pressure, you know, that causes me to cough a little bit and like seasonal allergies kind of a thing I've never really claimed to have seasonal allergies but it seems like as I've gotten older and I had COVID twice that there's a bit of congestion I'm gonna get my ears too they seem a little red today there's a little bit of congestion that pops up whenever stuff builds up in the air there's a definite improvement just with those that one product right there. So let me grab my mirror here and we'll just check this out. There's some little specks of glitter that's still on my face where I did a makeup look yesterday. And even though I use glitter glue, this glitter is still hanging on to certain places. Anyway, this Marcel it's a CC cream is what it is complete correction with sunscreen uh, 35 in it and it helps reduce the appearance of dark spots and I got this as a free sample and I really enjoy this formula I just wish I had it in my shade but anyway it doesn't hurt to mix things at all so okay so that's done I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush now I'm going to use this one from LYS and I'm just going to stick with a couple of little cream products today just to keep the skin hydrated so I like this blush you can apply it with the finger just a quick little makeup look I'm going to skip the powder and the bronzer for today but I do want to bring a little flush into the cheeks you know with this blush which is a beautiful color for me and I, I really like it I feel it feels like skincare and I'll just take what's left on my finger and just put a little over my temples and just a little down here on my chin okay so there's that now, I need a little bit of a cream highlighter because I want to be about the glow today. So let me let me grab this one over here. This is um, Mega Glow Hello Halo from Wet n Wild. And it doesn't take much of this at all. And there's this great big giant doe foot. So maybe just a little dot there and a little dot there and maybe a little dot here. And we'll just tap this out with the finger as well. 
and this is kind of a really light pink and I like wet and wild products y'all and they're so affordable too I've got a voucher to for Walgreens if I spend $20 I think it's $20 then I can get uh, I think six bucks off so just you can see just just that little bit that I put on my face goes a long way and it doesn't disturb the makeup underneath where you've laid it either so we've got the glow going on all right, let me use a little bit of um, concealer, just a tiny little bit. I'm going to go in with this one from Per Cosmetics. It's the same color as my skin tone, and <clears throat> it's okay that I'm applying it right now after I've done all this other, because I'm just going to go right here where I have the darkest circles. Just a little bit right there underneath the eye. And with whatever's left over on my finger, I'm just going to put it over my eyelid where the veins are. And we're just going to cover that up. So, big difference, right? So, I just love the way cream products really work nice together. Now, I've got this bronzer stick here from Persona that I just received in my BoxyCharm. And what I want to do is I want to grab a fluffy brush and I just want to apply some in the crease. It's a bronzer, but I'm going to use it today to help with this eyeshadow look. And maybe just a little right here. My husband's taking a nap and I'm filming videos and I just got inspired and I thought well while I'm letting my skin drink up some good skin loving skin care I will use some cream products and try to you know improve my appearance so when he wakes up I will be looking fly. <clears throat> okay, and now just a quick coat of mascara. I'm gonna go in with uh, this, where's it at? Right here. I wanna use this one. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. It's very black. Trace Noir. And it's got this great big giant wand on it. And it's water resistant. It may even be waterproof. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I just know that I had to work at getting it off. I had to use micellar water and uh, a cleansing oil in order to break it down. So just a quick coat of mascara, not anything really frou-frou. Not going to do lashes, not going to do three coats of mascara, just do one. And just a quick, quick run through right here on the bottom lashes. I 
I got a glob. Okay. Not perfect, but I'm in a hurry. <coughs> And let's see, we need just a little something something to define the eyes. So let me go in with this double act from Ico. I'm gonna use the darker end, which is called Dusk. And I'm just gonna run this across the lash line. Just to help define the eyes. Make the eyelashes look thicker. It's kind of a chubby stick. It doesn't really. It's not like using a liquid eyeliner where you get that thin line. So, and if you wanted to smudge it out a little bit, you could. You could just take a <coughs> a little you know, like an eyebrow brush and you could just go over it and just you know, just blend it out a little bit, soften the edge. I like softer type looks. And then you could just wing it up just a tiny little bit just to give it a little flick <coughs> and there you have it so that's all I'm doing the lip look today is the lip liner from, uh, what was this called? Basic Beauty, yeah. And this is the light, light caramel brown one, which has got like a peachiness to it. And then I used this little lipstick from Melt Cosmetics, which I didn't like it the other day because of the lip liner that I put it with, but I thought it would go better with this one, and it does. And then just a quick swipe of lip gloss from the Palatopoly collection. This is the the only lip gloss that came in that collection. It's got like some pink reflect in it. And so anyway, I just wanted to add a little bit of rosiness to that. And I didn't labor on my brows today. I just took the eye brush on the other end of my pencil and I just ran it through there just to kind of comb them down. That's it. And so that's it. That is that is what I'm wearing today. So just a simple makeup look. You could do this in 10 minutes really, really easy. And it's all about the skin. It's all about the glow. And just a little definition on the lips and the eyes. And that's it. Super simple look. Staying at home today. Hanging out with the hubs. And just living our best life. All right. That's it for me today, you guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this super simple cream product makeup look i love y'all so much thank you for watching today god bless you today is my prayer and i will see you in the next video bye